Yo, yo, what's up, people? Hope you're having a good day or a good night, whatever time it is where you are, man. I hope you're having a good one. So, here we are, man. We are back at it like some sort of attic. Def Adder is in the building. Mesco, of course. Mesco exclusive. Even though I believe you can still find this on Big Bad Toy Store, but I could be mistaken. I don't know, but I do know he was up there. So, here he is. We got a lot of accessories here. You know how we do it with Masco, man. We're going to just put everything to the side for a second. Check out the figure itself. Then we'll look at those accessories in a minute. So here he is, man. Black on black on black. I know a lot of people across the pages didn't like um, that Def Adder was black on black. But me personally, I don't mind. So when you get yours, he will come with his standard default head. Looks like that's got a patch over the eye. Check out the snake skin all scaly. Nice blood red eye. Oh, I got a little little bleeding right there a little paint paint mishap right there we can scrape that off though it's all good so articulation in the head looks like this left right back for oh okay stick that on can't go forward too much forward backwards like that he's got you can see his scales in the back of his neck they go all the way down that neck peg or that neck joint right there the neck piece he's got his collar on because he's uh you know, he's embarrassed about his scaly skin, so he has, he's got to moisturize more. Anyway, though, arms are going up about that high, just so you know. All right, we got some um, some pleather on top of this uh, stretchy, silky, not silky, but nylonish kind of filling stretchy suit right there. And because it's so stretchy, you can still raise the arms all the way up really, really high. But just be careful when you get some pull right there all around in that area. So don't go too crazy because it's is soft goods, okay? So... The bicep cut is right there. You guys can see it. And are we double jointed? Psh, of course we are. Check it out. All right. Definitely double jointed. Okay, cool. So coming down here, we got our standard Mesco uh, wrist action going on right here. But look at his gloves. They got a little texture on his gloves right there. So that's a nice little added bonus. Okay, so let's check out the top part of his body. Look at this. And this is plain Jane uh, Death Adder right here. Like, I didn't put all his pouches and guns and all this stuff on him like that. I didn't put any of that stuff on him yet, but I will. Okay, but this is Death Adder out of the box, all right? Just like this. So every picture you've seen of Death Adder so far, people have already hooked them up, you know? But I haven't hooked mine up yet. I'm waiting. So we're going to do that now, actually. Okay, so we're twisting his waist. You should know that the waist goes like that, that far. Okay, left and right. I think the shirt is either stitched underneath where the shirt goes all the way down like this. There's like a single stitch right there. Then it comes all the way up. That's how to keep those shirts tucked in nicely into the pants. Okay, one thing that I, um, I'm not too happy about is the lack of articulation in the crunch area. It looks like that. I believe this is the blade body. Someone online said that. So, and then going back is always a bit better, but it looks like that going back. So, there's not much going on with the front and the back, but we do have a, well, there's a tiny bit of tilt. Not really. I'm trying to tilt like left and right, but there's not much. So, there's not much going on with his core right here as far as like articulation, okay? So, the thigh cut is where? I'm twisting those thighs. You can't see it because those pants are nice and baggy. I like that though because it's going to give us more range of motion, but the thigh cut is right there. And last time I checked, if I'm not mistaken, let's get my old stylus out here. These pockets are functional. So you can actually stick something in those pockets like that. See that? That's a nice added touch. You can put his hands in his pocket for posing or put some weapons, some grenades or things like that in his pockets. So when you do bend his leg all the way up, though, the pants droop, right? Because they're not stretching. They're just like, unlike the stretchy, the stretchy material up top, these pants are not stretchy like that much at all. So when you go too far back, the pants droop and they cut that little stitch off right there. The knees are uh, double stitched right there. Okay, so the legs are double jointed. Let's move on down to the boots. Look at these boots. I like those. I like these boots. They're sculpted very well. Painted straight jet black. So we're going out that much with the boot. Going in like that. Okay. Going down this much and going up like that. All right. Of course, no toe bend. Nice tread on the bottom. I'll tell you what, boy. Mezgo is all about those tiny little details that a lot of manufacturers just simply skip out on like they'll just paint it whereas mezgo they'll just sculpt it in everyone else just paints it okay so let's move death adder to the side and check out these accessories okay so we got two different tongues all right i'll show you guys what those tongues look like tongues look like this okay nice flat one color with a little plug at the end of it to plug into his face so i'll show you guys what that looks like 
All right, let's check it out. All right, so what you're going to do is see a little hole right there. All right, speaking of these heads, look at these heads. My goodness. So it's not jet black. You can see there's a little bit of gray or like a little blue uh, sort of dry brushing on this head, which makes the scales pop even further. See that eye is missing. So if you didn't notice, in the other on the other head, there's a patch over his eye right there. It's sculpted on there. On this head, he's like, forget that patch. It's all business. Boy, you about to get this work. All right, so what you would do is take this little piece right here, plug it into his mouth, and it should just kind of pop. Got to go off camera for that, man. It's kind of difficult to do. You got to force it in really hard. Man, that is tough to do. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Wow, that's really tough to do. I'm afraid I'm going to break the tongue. The tongue does, the tongue does flex a bit. But this is actually pretty tough to put in. Um, okay, we're going to wait on that. I might have to just hit that with hot water to make that hole a little bigger. But that's how that works, okay? And the other head looks like this where the mouth is open even further. Look at that. The mouth is open even further so that's more clearance. Look at all that nasty stuff in there. Look at this mouth. Oh, boy. All right, so the mouth is open even further so it might be easier to do oh my gosh that's hard to do the tongue was actually bending the flex and so i don't want to go too hard on that look what i did see that i don't want to go too hard on that man so let's put that tongue back because i've already messed up the shape of the tongue i'm gonna take my time with that a little later on okay so you guys seen the three heads right and here's the other head right here you put the cigar in his mouth he does have a cigar all right and again the patch is missing from this head too okay so we got our blast effects. We've seen these before. The translucent yellow going into the clear with the little bullet on the end of it. We've seen those plenty of times before and I'm happy to have some more. We have a couple of different variations of those blast effects. I'll show you guys that. So we got the one I just showed you. We have the triple blast effect right there with a the little plug on the end that goes on the weapon. Another big one and another looking, another bigger one i guess you could say or a different one without the bullet on the end of it we have several sets of hands weapon holding hands chopping hands grabbing hands thumbs up hand uh you know just several different types of hands all right look at that i really messed that tongue up see the difference between what i did and how it came it's just it's really just that hard to put the tongue into the hole Okay, so we're done with that layer of accessories. Next, we have the guns, the pouches, the knives, the weapons. All right. <clears throat> okay, check this stuff out. You know what? Let's just do it like this. Okay. We have our, oh, look at that. These tiny little blades have tiny little snakes sculpted into them. I told you, boy. And look at the grip. The handle grip has like a little sculpting on it. You can feel that grip on the handle too. Mezco is all about the details. I'm telling you right now. Look at this blade right here in the sheath looks really good all right look at this shoddy and if i'm not mistaken let's see if they did it I wonder if it actually pumps it does look at that down and up take a good look at that shotgun right there detail like crazy but it's just flat black though but there are tons of details in that okay looks like we have a pouch right i'm sorry a weapon holster right here that's going to go on one of his thighs so without further ado Let's just put that on this thigh right here so I can show you guys how that looks exactly. Let's see. Work with me. Work with me. Slide on up. We're going to put that thing on his thigh right there. Okay. So that's how that's going to look. All right. And we do have a pistol, which is right here. We're going to insert that pistol into the holster for your enjoyment. Death at a. All right. Let's move this to the side. They call him DA for short. That's what he says, like with his mouth. He goes, <laughs> anyway, all right. Check out this futuristic looking pistol, man. Ooh, this bad boy is dope. Once again, oh, it moves. Watch this. Back and forth. Look at that rail. You can, you can rack that bad boy. They're all about the tiny little details. Okay. Then what you would do is you would holster that bad boy right inside of there. Let's go. I don't like the way it slides, though, like the, the strap slide on his belt. I mean, on his leg, but it's all good. You can holster that bad boy, and it looks like that. Perfecto, I might say. 
maybe maybe i'll super glue it to the to his leg because i'm not going to remove it like once it's there it's there that's going to be pretty permanent for me so he looks like that now with one little thing one little addition so like i said black adder is a is a blank canvas and he's just screaming for you to put all these belts and patches and buckles and holsters and all that stuff on him all right we even got a two-way little radio we got a walkie-talkie so we can talk to agent i mean uh hazard gomez okay we'll put that back on and then that goes back into this tray like that okay so that's our second layer of accessories pretty good stuff so far if i might say so myself last but not least this layer here where we have our hazard squad logo stand because he is a part of the hazard squad you guys remember we voted on which hazard squad figure we want next death adder one death adder is here all right let's pop this open all right we have our stand Hazard Squad uh, logo stand, Mezco drug baggie, and we're gonna zoom in on this. We have some grenades, and I believe we got some smokes in here too. And by smokes, I mean like cigars. Okay, let's go. We have three grenades. We have three cigars with no smoke, and we have two cig three cigars with smoke. We got some bands. Oh, these are patches. So they gave us extra patches for those heads. Uh, well, not this one, obviously, but for those heads that don't have patches so let's attempt to do this right now all right let's see all right so we got a head we have a patchless head and you can see the groove right there i don't know if you guys can see that right now so you can see the groove right here that's where that patch is going to go it's going to sit right there it's probably going to just go right along this groove right there okay let's attempt that all right so i got it and it's what is this uh it's plasticky yeah it's, it's it's plasticky it's not like stretchy material so you got to be careful with that so this means that if you stretch it too hard it will break because it's plastic it's not like that nylon is stretchy material that you would find on that it's not that it's actually plastic itself um i don't think i'm going to be able to do this and record so i'm going to go off the camera a few moments later okay so after trying this for about five minutes i have been unsuccessful the problem is that when you put the patch on his eye the band is like it it twists so you're trying to pull this patch down and the band is slowly just twisting on you as you're pulling down I wish this were stretchy because you wouldn't have that problem. Uh, so yeah, that I, I can't do that. I'm a, I'm a either I'm gonna either go without putting the patches on those heads, or just figure out a different solution. Maybe some super glue or something like that. But that was like my my hand, like my hand muscles hurt because it was like it's so it's just like everything's so tiny. Um, and I can't I can't do that, man. Woo, my my hand like my hand muscles hurt like right here from trying to like pinch that little band and like pull it across. If that were a stretchy band, it would be extremely easy, like so much easier, like ten times as easy. But that right there, hey man, that's all y'all, man. If you get that, let me know in the comments if you get that or not, man. First time go, cause I was sitting there struggling with it for like a solid five minutes, man. I, oof, uh uh. So we'll revisit that a different day. But anyway that was death adder but oh real quick real quick black on black on black let's do a quick height comparison because i know people like to know how tall figures are and my head comparisons are weird but i'm gonna do it anyway boom there's your death adder feet are together Boop. death adder is that much taller than your marvel legends so don't be afraid to pose them with marvel legends you're gonna pose them in a dynamic way anyway so it doesn't matter anyway people um oh wait before i tell you that's all Wait, wait, I forgot to tell you how far the legs spread. So the legs are going up about only this much. Wait a second. No, that, I think the gun's in the way. Uh, let's see. The legs are going up only about like that much. I don't know why, but that's it for the legs. And then going backwards goes like that much. So I don't know. You could probably twist it and make it go. F mm, no, let's see forward. I think the pants are stopping you here. Let's see if I move the pants. Yeah. So the pants are what's hindering the articulation and the leg. So if these pants were stretchy, you could probably put that leg up a little bit higher, like a ballerina of some sort or whatever type of individual put their legs up high, you know, karate, something like that. Okay, people. So let's put Death Adder back in the box. That is 
it for me why is he not going back in anyway hit those links in my description big bag toy store instagram all that kind of good stuff like that man have a good day see you